हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई YouTube चैनल माई नेम इज़ रुंजय पटेल गाइज इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट नोटिफिकेशन वेरिएबल दिस इज़ द इम्पॉर्टेंट वन गाइज डोंट मिस इट बिकॉज देर आर सो मैनी आउट ऑफ बॉक्स वेरिएबल्स प्रजेंट विच विल हेल्प यू टू डिजाइन योर ई मेल बॉडी राइट लेट्स टेक अ एग्जाम्पल लेट्स से यू वॉन्ट टू क्रिएट वन हाइपर लिंक ऑन टिकट नंबर राइट सो इन योर ई मेल बॉडी इफ समन विल क्लिक ऑन दैट इंसिडेंट नंबर इट शुड रीडायरेक्ट टू दैट इंसिडेंट नंबर पेज इट सेल्फ हाउ यू कैन डू दैट राइट सो फॉर दैट इफ यूल राइटिंग एस टी एम एल कोड देन दैट इज़ वेरी बैड वे ऑफ डूइंग कोडिंग यू अफकोर्स यू कैन अचीव इट यू कैन मेक यूज ऑफ ई मेल स्क्रिप्ट एंड यू कैन जस्ट मेक अ हाइपर लिंक ओवर देयर and you can do that but that is not the good way right if it is without writing a script things are present out of the box variable are present that we can leverage it in order to make that hyperlink then why we should write a um, so many bunch of code right in this video we'll be talking about in details about the variables but before that guys In my previous video, I had discussed about notification right from scratch. I have discussed about all the attribute, when and how we can make use of those attributes. Right? That uh, I have made a very detailed discussion in my previous video. That is the very very important uh, video. This is also equally important, but uh, previous video is very very important from the notification series. So let's uh, start with our demo session. But before that, guys, it's my humble request. If you have not liked and subscribed my channel, please do so. Thank you. So let's uh, start with the demo. Right. So I will uh, start with uh, previous uh, notification uh, itself. Okay. Right. So here uh, we have made some basic uh, email body. Right. So here, what we can do, we can. learn how and which all out of the box attribute present so that uh, our email body will look good right so here uh, we can add our image we can add uh, any html template we can add it over here fine but uh, but we can make a table okay let's say we want to make a table row and this then we can make a this way okay sorry first we have to select the table see it's become a table so it's very good uh, things we can design our email body guys over here fine so let's first discuss about uh, um field name like if we want to bring any field name then how we can do so in my previous video also i have uh, showcased that let's say incident has been uh commented or comment has been added like that if you want then how we can do so right so this is the expected output how we can do then we will simply add a line like this over here fine so what it will does dollar and this operator and this is basically a name of the field right so it instead of this uh, name what it will display this number will display right so here uh, let's see that how it is displaying we have already seen so this is the example we have seen uh, this is open by um, field name is there so it will display the um, name of the person right so let's save this and we'll see we'll see one by one fine so i have saved this form and we'll do the preview and we'll see what is output is coming whether expected output is coming or not see here name is coming and here and the num ticket number is also coming this ticket number fine let's talk about the different attribute uh, that is the uri uri if you want to make a link let's say we want to make you don't want to display the name uh, this one um, number but you want to make a link something like this then how you will do 
then this is the one URI, URI you can do that so let's say I will say view incident and here view incident and here I will say um, dollar opening braces UR sorry URI fine I will do let's save this and again we will do the preview fine see link it become link if I will click on this link it will redirect me to the same incident form got it yeah, too easy right if you will not know that uh, URI is uh, out of the box is present uh, you just need to call the um, your email script and you can make over there um href link clickable right that also we can do but for that we have to write a bunch of code now next is uh uri underscore ref so this will display uh you, you can try it out guys okay yourself i'm just explaining it over here this will work exactly this is how i have done the testing okay so if we'll keep uri underscore ref then it will what it will display if you have created a uh, ticket on uh, what incident then this will display your incident number fine right and then if you will uh, let's say if you want to um, make a use of link for other uh, reference field then how you will do a reference uh, field dot uri then it this link will become okay and if you want to make a link like this on the incident form then let me show you guys one this one uh, reference field urf uh, uri ref okay so what i will do i will say ref and uh, here i will give um dollar opening braces and uh, let's say we have one field called caused by and dot we'll say uri underscore ref right so what is the expected output over here guys the expected output is it will display the caused by uh, number right so uh, let's say on this we have a caused by uh, change okay let me show you so this is the cause by field i'm using so this will display the reference um, link clickable of this change request right so let's preview it okay, it's become if i will click over here it will redirect me to the change request so for any reference field if you want to make that uh, link clickable then provide a, over here this will only work for your reference make sure so give the field name and then um, dot uri underscore ref fine now similar way if you want to do a mail script so this is the um, syntax for calling a mail script anyway i will be discussing more when i will be using a mail email script so dollar mail underscore script colon and here you just provide a, your uh, email script name it will call and over there you can write your logic that will display in your email body right for unsubscribe uh, it will if you want to do that you just do uh, uh, no tip not if underscore un sub so this is the um, keyword you have to use it right this all i will be uh, um, you know that you will be getting all this in our um, service now blogs right service now with runja.com there you will be getting i'll be <laughs> pasting this information right so similar way if you want to get a manage preference then you will do like this you can manage your uh, um, this one you can define your text over here instead of manage preference you can define your text that will become a link over here fine guys this is all about uh, uh, notification variables and in the next uh, video i'll be discussing about the email templates in details right you know that with the real world scenario thank you thanks for watching see you in the next video